Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Guys, when is it the right time to change your head guard? All right, that looks about right. It is definitely time for you to change it. Stay tuned. All right, coffee sponsor of today is Harry Wong. Harry Wong writes, Hi, Harry. Greetings from Hong Kong. I've started playing tennis with my girlfriend as a beginner since August of 2023, and I've watched so many of your videos that I've lost count. Really like your style of presentation and sense of humor. I'm playing with a Pure Drive 100 with a full bed Technofiber X1 now and can't wait to try your recommendation of Confidential with Gamma TNT React later. Keep up the good work and take care. From one Harry to the next. Thank you so, so much. I'm glad you picked up the game. Glad you got your girlfriend out. Glad you're playing with some great rackets, great strings, and the person you love. That's all that is important because tennis is the game of love, guys. If you want to be my coffee sponsor of the day, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. If you want to just hook up the channel, super thanks would be the way to go. The link is below. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Harry. Mm. Mm. Nice and hot, Harry. Just like the way we like it. All right. Okay. So let's. So this particular pure drive needs a head guard, as you can see. Now, the strings are now exposed on here, causing the strings to break because. The person who owns this racket kind of wore it down and shaved it down by scrubbing on the floor so much. Um, a lot of people tell me, like, I, I don't know when I should change my head guard. Well, it's definitely time now. You don't want to shave that down anymore because you're going to start really um, jeopardizing the integrity of this racket by, you know, getting more of that graphite out of there. So we want to be on this head guard layer. We don't want to be on this graphite layer. And I know a lot of you have basically said, oh, why don't we change the whole thing? Why don't we change the bottom piece or the side pieces? Now, I actually don't like to mess too much with these pieces here, especially the ones that are flared out because those are kind of anchors and it anchors these pieces down. Unless those pieces are destroyed and the graphite is cutting into the strings, I don't like to take those out. I know a lot of you um, have asked me like, why don't we just change the whole thing? Um, well, that's kind of the reason. As long as these are good, I, I like to keep them that way because I can't reflare these. I can't make them bigger. Uh, if you guys know a way to do it, um, I've tried different ways and I haven't been able to do it. Hair dryer, heat gun, you know, you name it. So I like that these are flared and I like to keep them that way. So what I usually do, um, unless these are damaged, is I just take, take the head guard off and change that part. Okay? But if I see it, if I see the graphite being exposed and touching the... Uh, the strings in any of the places, then I will change that particular piece or I'll tube it. Um, I should probably do a video on tubing for you guys too. So the next important thing about changing a head guard is the tools. I actually like this particular owl more than an owl like this. Now I like where this thickens up so that I can get leverage on you know, moving the uh, grommet into place so that I can push it down into um, the holes or where they're supposed to be. This is a little too thin here and I can't get enough leverage because it's so thin. 
So if you guys want a perfect awl to do grommets with, just get this wooden one. I don't think it's very expensive. I think it's like a $10 piece, okay? I mean, I snap the tips off a lot because I do so many, but, but whole, you know, these used to be only a couple bucks, but they've uh, raised it lately. And then you'll need a cutter to snap some of the flared ones or the ones that are made bigger from tie holes out. And the last thing is make sure you get the right, you know, grommet set, head guard set. Uh, a lot of the companies, they make it so confusing. It's like either put a year on it or a series on it with the racket, but all they say is, you know, pure drive <laughs> or, or radical. Uh, and then they put a serial number next to it of what series, what year, help us out a little bit here. Cause I'm confused. If I'm confused, you're in trouble. Okay. So <clears throat> first thing you do with this particular one, as you see, the head guard actually starts over here with this pure drive. And this is one of the latest ones. This is the latest pure drive. So all this is going to have to come out as it is part of the head guard. Okay, so I like to use this to push out the, the grommet, and then I'll use this to take it out. See, I stick it in, right? Get leverage, stick it in, get leverage. Okay, so that's too thick. I'll have to, I'll have to cut that one. So I'm going to go to the other side now. Stick it in, get leverage, out. Stick it in, get leverage. Okay, looks like I'm at the exact same spot. So you see that's flared, if you can see it. That's flared, that's flared. So what I like to do is just snip that. I'll put my finger there so it doesn't shoot out and hit you in the face or shoot you in the eye. Try to keep it at a good angle for you. See? Last one. Out it comes. Okay. So that's all we need from that. Now, we hope that this is the right piece. And I don't know why they did this to the grommet. They made it so long here. So now we have to build it. Okay. So I know this is for the top. So what I do is I like to look at two, two, right? They're kind of close with a gap in between. I look at the head guard and it's two, two, just like so. Now, I look at the thing and I see where I can put my two twos. Oh, it looks like it's up here. So it looks like it's going to be like that. So I saw my two twos here and my two twos there. So I start there. Okay. I'm going to have to bring it in close just to get a little leverage on doing this right now. Okay. Just like so. What did they say in cooking? Your hands are some of your best tools. Same thing with this. Snapping is good, guys. Snapping is good. Normally, I would slap this on the table and uh, and go after it with the, the awl, but I'm trying to make it so that you guys can see what I'm doing. So all I'm doing is just wiggling it in 
to uh, where they need to go. So all I'm doing is just placing it there, just placing it to where it needs to go. And then just kind of using my thumb to kind of stabilize it and while the all pushes it down. So that's it there. So I use my thumb just to kind of push it down, line it up. That's it, line it up. So if you if you see a like it sticking up a little bit, just stick the all right back in there and line it up to the hole and push it in. Okay, so that's it for that. Now, the other pieces of the puzzle here. Looks like I got this and I got this to finish it up. Now, are they interchangeable? is the question. Hmm. This one is thinner. This one is thicker. I usually guessed that the thicker is down here and the thinner goes up there. So hopefully I'm right. So. There it is. Okay. Same thing. I'm trying to get leverage. This exercise of patience usually takes me about five minutes or less, but because I'm trying to show you in this angle, it's taking a little longer. So I was right, okay? So I was right. You'll see that there's a grommet here and a grommet there. So I always guess that the thicker one, the thicker opening, the bigger grommet is on the bottom and then the thinner ones on the top. So that's how I know to align these. Um, and I like to start at the top because I know this got put in already. So I'm just trying to get that get the rest of the guard in first because if I started it here when I by the time I get up here I'm gonna have to like crank it around to get it down so I rather have it kind of slowly take the leverage um, to get it in okay so that's good oh good So you can see, look, this grommet right there is angling out. You, you, this grommet, this all is perfect for taking it in the right spot and guiding it in, just like that, right? Probably needs a little wiggling. 
which I just wiggled in. Use your thumb, make sure they get in securely. There it is. How long did it take me? 15? What? No, just kidding. Okay, so that took me a little longer because I was trying to show you doing it, but I can usually do this in about five. Um, so guys get the right tools, okay? It'll make it faster. Sometimes I would have to heat up the head guard um, just to get it to stretch. This particular time I didn't have to, but I would just heat up the head guard and not heat up the, um, the grommet part of it so that I just want the guard to stretch. I don't want the grommet to be soft. I want the grommet, I want the grommet to be as firm as I can so that I can pull it around and get it into the hole. And hair dryers work. I've heard people um, heat it up on the stove a little bit. Don't burn it. Just all you want it to be is warm so that it can be soft. Okay. So that's my tricks of how to put on a head guard and when to change your grommet, your head guard um, for your tennis racket. All right, guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin where we put our spin on your tennis. Oh man. Need a string job? Need a string job today? All you have to do is launch your app at Direct Tennis, call out the stringer, your stringer can come pick it up from you, or you could take it there. They're in your neighborhood. It's as simple and as easy as that. Find your stringer today at directtennis.online.